my welcome back to my channel if you are new here hi honey my name is jasmine i recently graduated nursing school so if you missed that journey girl go ahead and watch them vlogs i'll put them up here somewhere go ahead before you continue and make sure you hit that subscribe button while you at it because you're gonna love it here and if you are returning i'm gonna thank you guys so so much for rocking with me y'all i really appreciate it thank you from the bottom of my heart so judging by the title y'all already know i don't have to say too much i passed my NCLEX. I did it y'all so um this video is gonna be about how i did it what i used to study my resources um i went more into detail about it like before i took the test make sure you check out that video i'll put that up here somewhere yeah so if you want to know what i did to pass make sure you stay tuned okay so y'all first of all let me give y'all a little backstory so i had to reschedule my test okay i was so nervous like i was just so nervous and then my manager gonna say so what if you fail girl why would you say that anyway i had to pray on y'all because when I, I don't know, in my mind, like when I closed my eyes and looked at my results, it kept saying it failed, which is so crazy. Like, it kept saying it failed, but then I prayed on it, kept praying on it. I felt like I was being annoying, but child, <laughs> had to talk to G-O-D. I kept praying on it, and eventually my mind kept seeing pass, pass, pass. So I'm like, okay, this is a sign at the end of the day, you know? So yeah, I rescheduled my test. That time I'm like, okay, I'm not gonna reschedule it no more. I'm gonna take this test, and I did, and I passed in 85 questions. <laughs> Y'all, first of all, I was so scared because the minimum used to be 75. That's what I thought it was when I was going into the test. And I'm like, okay. And with the 76, I was like, ooh, ooh Lord. Y'all, I was so nervous, my heart was pounding. And then they cut off at 85. I said, ooh. I didn't know what that meant because either you had too many to pass, I mean, too many wrong to pass, or you had the right amount like you didn't need no more questions to pass. Girl, heart was pounding, okay? Heart was pounding for a good two days. I didn't know what to do. So eventually, um, like three of my classmates took it already before me, and they was like, girl, just call to see if you pass. I don't wanna hear it over the phone, okay? I did not wanna hear that, cause what the, the man be like, oh, I'm sorry, ma'am. I would've had a heart attack, okay? Cardiac arrest. So I didn't wanna know that over the phone, but child, good thing I called because I could finally stop shaking. I was so nervous, y'all, y'all don't understand. I was so nervous. But yeah, anyway, let me get into the resources. Now that I told y'all the little backstory, all that good stuff, let me get into the resources. So the first thing I bought was Kaplan, which I talked about in a video before that I told you guys to go watch. Now, what I liked about Kaplan the most, like of course they had a lot of resources, but I'm more of like a visual learner. Like I need colorful stuff and stuff like that. And that black and white that Kaplan had going on, no offense, but that didn't work for me. Like the information might've been good, but girl, I watched them little videos. I couldn't like, I couldn't focus with the whole no color thing. Like I need something jumping out at me. I don't know. So the main thing I use Kaplan for, pay attention to this, the main thing I use it for was for the test bank questions. They give you like so many test banks and practice tests and stuff like that. You can do, what was it, 75 questions a day is the minimum, or no, a test. But if you want to take another test the same day, and sorry if I'm talking funny, I have my ethics line in. <laughs> But if you want to do um, 75 questions, again, you can do it, but you can't do 85 per sit sitting, if that makes sense. Which I feel like they need to change because if the new minimum is 85 questions, y'all need to have us practicing 85 questions so we can be prepared for when that test cut off. But yeah, that's what I mainly used it for. And also I did kind of like the Kaplan decision tree. So I did like some of the questions on the NCLEX, I did find myself using the decision tree, which I thought I wouldn't, but I did. So. That's the two main things that I took from Kaplan. Also y'all, that little test prep is a little expensive. So what I did was, I'ma give y'all the tea. Don't say I never tell you nothing. Put the, the course in your cart. Let it sit there for like a day. Girl, they gonna send you a coupon. I guess I said it. They gonna send you a coupon so you can buy it. Nothing big, but girl, they sent me a little coupon and I used it and that's when I bought it. Now the next course that I used, that I loved, love y'all, like I never thought I would pay for that, but Y'all know Nurse Mike from Simple Nursing? Child, he has a course that you can pay for. Yes, honey, he has a course that you can pay for. And he have a lecture also for like the NCLEX. So I use that. And y'all know, if you a nursing student, like you already know, girl. If you here, you should know. His videos are very colorful. He give you like little tips and tricks to remember stuff, like little sayings. Um, I'm trying to think of one that I remember. Hemoglobin lesson seven, send your patient to heaven. Like, I know that's not, that don't sound good when I say it out loud. But that's how I remembered it. But y'all, but wait, wait, wait. Before you remember all the lab values and stuff like that, girl, you don't rem you don't gotta remember that, okay? You do not have to remember that. And nobody told me nothing, okay? I was stressing over them freaking lab values for nothing. They're gonna give you like normal, not normal on NCLEX for New Jersey. Look up for your state if it's the same there. But girl, 
I was sitting there trying to remember all them lab values and I remember Kyle seeing because Kyle called 911. So Kyle see him is 9 to 11. But girl, I was trying to remember all that stuff for nothing, girl. They gonna give you that on the NCLEX. Hold on y'all, I had to come back because I almost forgot to tell y'all the tea. So another thing, like, okay, you don't have to remember the lab values, but you do need to remember what they're like, what do they mean? What are they for? Like, if it's too low, what do that mean? If it's too high, like, what do that mean? So don't remember the numbers, but girl, you better remember what they're for, okay? But what you do need to remember now is the um, vital signs, okay? Remember normal vital signs, so they're not gonna tell you nothing, okay? I'm talking about for babies, adults. It don't matter, remember them normal vital signs. I'm gonna say. The main, main thing that I loved about Nurse Mike course is his test bank. Now, he give you practice tests also, but listen to this girl. Those rationales, he give you a video explaining it if you get it wrong. Yes, a video. Don't say I never tell you nothing, okay? Buy Nurse Mike course. This is not sponsored. Make sure you buy that Nurse Mike course. Don't say I ain't tell you nothing. Simplenursing.com, okay? Pay for that NCLEX review. And unlike Kaplan, I don't know if, I said this in the other video, I think. Kaplan, you cannot like do a test on certain categories. Like say if I wanted to do acid bases and stuff like that, or like just the musculoskeletal system, like I couldn't just do a test on that on Kaplan. So say if you listen to the lecture for Nurse Mike on the, on maternity. If you listen to the lecture on that for maternity, you can go to his test bank and pick out maternity for your category and you will only get maternity questions. And the rationale is going to be videos if you get it wrong. Girl! In the case studies. He talk you through the case studies. Somebody, let's, let's clap for Nurse Mike. Because he, he really be doing the thing, okay? He got a few of us through nursing school. And now he's going to follow through for the NCLEX. Like, he's seeing us through, y'all. Like, I got to remember to leave a little review or something. But, yeah. Download that course. Don't say I ain't tell you nothing. Stop what you're doing right now. Download it. Pay that money. And last but not least, if you as any nursing student in the United States of America, she's going to tell you, listen to Mark K lectures, okay? Listen to them lectures, period. That mean, I don't understand, like, and some of the lectures are like three hours, but you want to listen because it's just the way that he explained things. Like, he really break it down. Now, I wouldn't go take the nursing exam just off of the lectures. Like, you, I feel like you still need a course for, like, practice questions and other lectures just in case because he don't talk about everything. But the things that he do talk about, like, he really break it down. I listen, Matter of fact, before I went in, I listened to the one that was the last one, priority. La, 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 la. Prioritization. <laughs> I listened to the last lecture about delegation and stuff like that before I went in to sit for my test. And he also had a part at the end where if you don't understand, this is how you guess. Now, girl, listen to me when I tell you, you are not gonna know everything on that freaking test. Some of that stuff you ain't never heard of a day before in your life. But that don't mean it's not gonna be on there, okay? So at the end of that lecture, he tell you how to guess. Like, what answer you should pick if you don't know what you should go with. So yeah, I highly recommend if you listen to any lecture that he had, listen to that last one about delegation, okay? Also, before you start all this stuff, make sure you write down what you wanna do. Make a planner, a calendar, whatever you need to do. So what I did was I wrote down all the videos I wanted to watch. I picked the days I was gonna take certain tests. So Kaplan, the tests are like called question trainers and stuff like that, one, two, and three. They give you a few. So I wrote down the days I wanna take them question trainers and then the lectures that I wanna listen to. And then I also did 75 questions a day. Now, in the past video, I told you guys about an app but once I downloaded the, um, or once I paid for the Simple Nursing subscription, I didn't really use the app that much because it was basically the same thing. But with Nurse Mike, it was better because the remediations were videos instead of you having to read a whole, like, girl, who got time for that, okay? Who got time to read paragraphs, paragraphs for remediate? Nobody got time for that, okay? We're not doing that. So yeah, before you start anything, make sure you plan it out because them days went by so fast. Like, before I knew it, it was seven days until my test. And then next thing I know, it was three days before my test. Like the time just went by so fast and I felt like I wasn't ready. That's why I had to reschedule. But yeah, make a planner, stick to your plan. You got this, relax. Now for a life update, where I been? Cause girl, I know I haven't uploaded in forever. I had to study y'all. 
Okay, I just had a lot going on. When I tell y'all, once you set that test date, them times fly, like the day fly by. My days never flew so fast until I scheduled that test date for the NCLEX. Whew. I just feel like so relieved that it's over. I can't believe it's over. So now I'm on to my next chapter. So right now I just been applying for different jobs. I'm thinking of working in the hospital setting. I currently work in the hospital pharmacy, so I feel more comfortable in the hospital setting. I mean, I did do clinicals in a nursing home, but I don't know if I can work in a long-term care facility. But I mean, I'm not against it, but for right, like my first choice would be like a hospital setting or a doctor office. So yeah, so that's just what I've been doing. That's my life update. I don't really have much going on. Next time y'all see me, hopefully I'll be buying my scrub, buying my nursing shoes, telling y'all about my orientation, bringing y'all along with me to all that stuff. My first day of work, <sighs> keep praying for me y'all. I really appreciate all the encouraging uh, messages and stuff like that. Yeah, I think that's it. This video went by so fast. I really didn't have that much to talk about. I just wanted to get down to the tea because people that's watching me is probably studying and y'all don't really have time to be watching YouTube videos right now. So I just wanted to get right down to it. Tell y'all what I use. One and done on my NCLEX, 85 questions. Thank you guys that came along with me for this journey this far. If you missed some videos, girl, I already done said it before, but just in case you're a little hard-headed, because I know some people be a little hard-headed, make sure you watch the whole vlog playlist of my nursing school journey. Make sure to like, comment, subscribe, all that good stuff. Thank you guys so much for watching. Bye. I, I wanna be